What is circular reasoning? Circular reasoning is a type of logical fallacy. So what is a logical fallacy? Well, a logical fallacy can be defined essentially as a failure of reasoning. Hence, when we are looking at circular reasoning, we are looking at a type of logical fallacy. Circular reasoning can be defined as beginning your reasoning with what you are trying to end with. This is otherwise known as begging the question. Let's look at two examples of this we may encounter in life. So a Christian might say, the Bible is the word of God because the Bible says that it is the word of God. This would be a form of circular reasoning. You know, the Bible is the word of God because it says so. If we were to ask how they knew it was true, they might respond, because it's in the Bible. Similarly, an atheist might say, there is no God because no such thing as God exists. This would be another form of circular reasoning. If we were to ask again how they knew that God didn't exist, they might respond, because there is no God. As you can see, both examples lack any foundation to their conclusions. There is no evidence provided in each case and so both statements are mere blanket explanations ultimately. So it's pretty easy in this sense to spot the faults in these types of statements. But now, let's look at circular reasoning in a more philosophical sense. If you take a class in logic, one fundamental thing that you will learn is that everybody is guilty of circular reasoning. This is because at the heart of it, everybody trusts in their own logic. However, the question then becomes, how do you know that your own logic is sound? The only possible way to answer is by saying that you trust in your logic. But in answering in this way, you've just appealed to your own logic in order to answer a question about your own logic. At this point, we've now reasoned in a circle. We've assumed our logic is intact in order to answer a question about our logic, which requires logic in order to answer. So circular reasoning is not as abstract a concept as you may have first thought. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on circular reasoning. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment as I'll be posting more videos like this regularly.